So let's look at AVAX. AVAX, and, and this is what I told you last week, it's hard to get on AVAX or Solana because those are projects I got on AVAX at 14 and 26. Well, look AVAX now. It's like right there hanging at the 45. That being said, this AVAX 45 to this edge right there, 39, going back to the trend line is going to be critical. It is critical that we hold the retest of the trend line, which coincide with the division of the probability rule of third on the left, which is a very important support. We got to hold the 39 AVAX. If we do hold the AVAX 39, then we're on our way here, which would be an AVAX price target of 75, 75. So it's not a lot. People are like 100. Look, I cannot give you stuff that I don't see. I can only give you stuff that are clear. 39, 44 on AVAX with a target of 75 on AVAX. If we break that trend line of 39 on AVAX, now it's becoming real bad because now we go retest the middle part of this entire double top, which is a Victor Sparandeo target, which is a division, a rule of third of the right calculator at 25. So those are the two huge targets on AVAX. The 25 middle part, if we break the 39 trend line, and that 39.44 is a dangerous accumulation zone for a target of 75. If we do break the 75, then you have the 100 on AVAX. But if you look at the probability power trend, there's a lot of negative selling going on on AVAX. Institutions are selling both in the day trading and the long-term investing. So if we sell off the stock market at 475, 490, and we sell the Bitcoin below the 65 within the next two weeks, three weeks, five weeks, that might push AVAX at that 39.25 area, which it would be a decent, even if, let's say it's 25, that's a Christmas gift, then you have a three to four X on AVAX, okay? So do not rush, get some cash, you know, accumulate positions on those pullback, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep on adding and adding and adding to all the stuff I have here, guys, the real accounts, you know, I have cash, I have SPXS ready, which means as the market goes down, I'm making money on SPXS. Look at this $100,000 account here from March, and I need to update the accounts for you. I want to do that every month. So this is super transparent, you know, because I don't even do a lot. I, it's very, very passive what I'm doing here with this $300,000. And, and look here, I will use the SPXS as the market goes down, SPXS will go up. And then when I reach the support of 470, 490 on the SPY, if it goes there, then I get out of here and I use that cash, right? Which at the time might be 12,000, 15,000. And all I'm going to do is add to the greater position that I have. AM, A Amazon, AMZN, Google, Intel, Palantir, Shopify, Square. My entire chess game is already in place and the pieces have been moving. I love you all, everybody. I hope it was helpful. Your likes, comments are appreciated. Do not rush adding all your money, dollar cost average in the positions that you like here. The, those are the positions that I like, like that I will add. And slowly but surely, as the market goes down, I will get out of my triple bear ETF SPXS, which edge my portfolio. Love you all, everybody. Take care. Your likes, comments are appreciated.